What is up guys? Hope you guys are doing good today. Today I have a very special video for you guys. A lot of you guys on stream asked me what is my favorite way to trade and how can you guys do that? So my favorite way to trade guys is actually chemistry style of trading. If you guys have been watching me for a couple years, you do know that already. Um, so I'm going to show you guys in a quick, quick, quick video. So this works one of two ways. So you can either do it with one of three ways actually I would say. A hunter chemistry style, shadow, and then anchor works to a lesser degree. So we're going to stick with the first two, um, hunters and shadows for this one. Um, so let's start with the defenders, all right? So mainly for this, what you're going to want to target is defenders, so center backs, full backs, you know, wing backs as well. Um, you are going to want to target these defenders that are worth, you know, about under 10k, and there is a reason for that. So let's take a look real quick. Uh, Romero, for example, right, he's about six, five to 6k right now. And that is obviously just his normal card without a shadow. We will apply the shadow and then see what he is with the shadow. Um, so it seems like with a shadow, the lowest he is on the market is about 7,200. So you're going to want to undercut the lowest, obviously, to get a quick sale. So 7,100 is the number we're looking at. So what you're going to want to do is leave the chemistry style on, um, but also buy him at the price with as if he didn't have the shadow of that. You know, You feel me, guys? So we're going to leave it for this purpose at 6k. It seems like he's a little bit less than 6k. You can even bump it up because there's only 5% tax from EA. So, and we know he will set out, sell at about 7,000 to 7,100. So at worst, you're making like 7,800 coins per time that you do this. And you know, this is just one example. So you guys kind of get the gist. If a Romero pops up, for example, boom, go for it. And like I said, you can go, f you can do this with any, uh, literally almost any defenders uh, that are worth 10k or less. So, um, why we try to stay away from the higher rated, you know, more expensive cards, for example, like Varan, is because if somebody can already afford, say, Varan, right, chances are they can afford a Shadow Chemistry style for a couple thousand coins to apply on their Varan. So as you can see, it doesn't really matter for these, you know, super high rated expensive cards. It's more the low rated cards that people are hesitant to, you know, put a Shadow on just because they maybe they don't want to waste their coins on it or they want to sell it for more coins or whatever it is they want to do. They want to use it for a different card. Uh, but we'll take a look at a guy like Rudiger. So it kind of still works for cards under 20k. Um, however, after that 20k mark, most of the time, I personally, you know, like to stay under that. Um, so let's take a look. Without a shadow, he was about 11k. And this is why, guys, I like to stay under 10k. Even with the shadow, he's only about 12, 7, 13,000. Whereas we saw without a shadow, you know, he's only about 1,000-ish, so maybe 2,000 coins less. So this is why... For defenders, uh, I definitely, definitely want to stay, uh, you know, under that 10k range just because you do have a lot more options. Um, and uh, once again, people are more hesitant to apply their shadows. So if one does pop up, it is worth more instantly. Uh, it seems like a guy like a Kanji, who I'm sure will work perfectly, is about 4k or so. So let's check him. Once again with the shadow, what is his lowest by now? Um, you got one for 4.3, 4.6, and 4.9. All three of those should sell to somebody, so those are actually pretty good deals, the first two. Um, and then it seems like the cutoff is about 5,000, so he should sell for about 5,000. So what you want to do is, I'd put it at probably like the 4,400 range, 45, anything pop that pops. You know, you won't be making a shit ton, but you will be making about 500, and that's at the worst. Alright, so moving on to the attackers. Um, same thing. So... You know what, actually, before we get to the attackers, guys, let's say on the Shadow Camp Styles, you can also use those on, obviously, anybody that's like a center mid CDM, you know, a card that you think people want to play as like a, mainly like, like a defensive-minded midfielder. So let's take a look. A guy like Sissoko, seems like he's about 5.5k with a Shadow, um, and then without a Shadow, it seems like he's way lower. So, um, yeah, he works perfectly for this. Uh, most people that get him definitely want to get him with the Shadow. And I recommend you guys do as well. Say if you're not even make, trying to make coins on this. Say you're buying this for your team, all right? Get him with the shadow just in case he drops because he is low rated, you know? If he does drop, that shadow will give you the extra 1 to 2k boost uh, value-wise. So it is a great thing to always buy your cards, even for your team with a chemistry style already attached. So, okay, now moving on, all right? Uh, we're going to move on to the attackers. Same logic. I like to stay around, you know, like the 10k mark because once again, if a guy's buying like Mbappe, you know, Ronaldo or whoever, mess, even like a Messi, right? Chances are they can already afford like a Hunter Camp style to apply to those cards. Whereas a guy rocking a 2,000 coin Jao Felix probably cannot afford it unless you know you're a guy like me and you just like to rock cheap squad. So let's take a look. Jao Felix actually 
Uh, doesn't seem like he's selling for too much. About 3300 with uh, with a hunter. Let's see him without a hunter. Um, so he's about 2400 So yes, it does work. You can make about 800 coins per time. And a guy like him, I do think a good amount of him should have hunters on it. Uh, but yeah, you guys can snipe it like this every time. Oh, for example, boom, perfect example for the video. Uh, we saw that he was, what, 3300 So I'm going to list him up. Uh, and I will personally take the three, I'm sorry, the 800 coin profit. You can hold, you know, he'll probably go up at night. Um, but yeah, perfect example right there. It works with, you know, wingers, strikers, center forwards, even left mid, right mids if they're attacking, you know, like if they have attacking stats. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. Pretty simple. Uh, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys have any other questions, trading questions in general, you guys can come to the stream, twitch.tv slash real edwin, ask me. Uh, but once again, try to target cards under 10k for this uh, method, all right? Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped you guys out a little bit. And uh, make sure to drop a like if you uh, did uh, enjoy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.